it's Mel from Camp Quality. Today I'm joined by a very, very special guest, an award-winning Australian actress, superstar and Camp Quality ambassador, it's Kerry Armstrong. Hi, Kerry. Hello, beautiful Mel. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? I'm all the better because for seeing you, because you always make me oh. smile. I'll oh, stop it. You make me smile. <laughs> Oh, you look beautiful there in your camp quality shirt. I know it's my camp quality shirt. I love it. I've got a purple one as well. But the yellow I thought for today because it was sunny. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day. Hey, how have you been in lockdown there in Melbourne, Kerry? Well, we're really lucky because we live in a little cottage by the sea um, and I can walk through the tea tree and wow. actually go down to the beach. So we've been really lucky. My boys are here and one of them's a musician, so he plays the guitar. Oh. And, so, and we've got friends who've got gardens and we swap lettuces and food. So we're kind of self-sufficient, like a little village, which is how I like to live. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, hey, I play an instrument too. I play the ukulele. Oh my God, that's right. Have yeah. you got that on you? Uh, no, not today. Maybe <laughs> me and your son can catch up sometime. Oh, you'd love it. He's got a <laughs> ukulele. Oh, cool. We could do a duet. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> hey, so what kind of stuff do you do to keep yourself positive while you're stuck inside all the time? Well, I try to wake up and I don't reach for my phone. What mm -hmm. I do is I try to wake up and I start by wriggling my toes and then I start by putting my hands on my heart because... Did you know your heart's got a brain? What? Yes, your heart's got a that. little brain, yes. And do you know that every cell in your body, there are about 570 billion cells and lots Whoa. of them have got antennas. What, really? I didn't know that. Yep, and these little antennas can beam out into the world. So what I do is I try to think, okay, I'm really grateful I've woken up for a start because some people... When they go to sleep, they don't wake up if they're older or they've been unwell. Yeah. So we've got to say thank you for that. So I wake up and then I think, what could I do today to make myself happy? And it's usually make someone else a cup of tea or go see someone, that sort of thing. And then I say a little prayer and the prayer can be anything about anybody. And then I zoom out of bed, put on my exercise gear. Whoa and try to roll straight onto my yoga mat. Oh, I love yoga. <laughs> wow, what a productive morning. It, it is, and lots of other mornings, I don't do any of that. I look at my <laughs> phone straight away, I get a cup of tea and go back to bed, and I think, wow, I'm feeling a bit low today. I don't know why, but I'll just know that there are hundreds of other people feeling low. So I'll just know that I'm just normal like everybody else. Yeah, that's really I important to remember. Yeah. I think, because sometimes we do feel sad and I think it's okay. We're allowed to feel sad sometimes. Yeah, you're so right because your feelings are your friends. Yeah, I think so too. And I have a feeling that they're like winter, spring, summer or fall, angry, happy, sad and afraid. And angry is a little bit like maybe winter or thunder and happy is like sunshine and afraid could be, you know, sort of autumn-y and windy and, and sad can be spring when the bulbs haven't come up and then it can get to happy again. Oh, that's a really nice way to look at it. And we're coming into nice sunny weather now, which is very happy. It is very happy. Hey, so what's the where's the first place that you're going to go once we're allowed to travel again? <gasps> I might go to Tasmania because I like sailing on boats and Whoa. I've got friends there. And I did the Sydney to Hobart race last year. Whoa, on, really? Yeah, on a boat called Magic Miles. And you had to go to sleep and get up every three hours. And oh. very tired and very wet. But it was <laughs> great. It was a big challenge. Oh, that's really cool. Wait, what kind of a boat were you on? It was a 62-foot yacht. And in the race, you're not allowed to use your engines. And we did really well. We were coming first in our division. And we got to Tasmania to the Derwent River and the wind stopped. Oh, no. And we just sat there <laughs> for maybe about eight hours. And we ran out of water <gasps> on the boat. I know there were 14 of us. 
and it was 38 degrees. Oh. So it was there and you could see the finish line, Mel. Oh, and, but you, and you couldn't get there. We couldn't get there. So we were first and then we sort of came almost last. And oh. I watched everybody on the boat. You know when you know you want to win the race and then you suddenly think, oh, oh, oh you trip over or you, you're not as fast a runner. I watched everybody on that boat realise that they were first for a second in our minds and then we were last and everybody just looked around the boat and they were thankful just for the whole experience. So yeah. Well, sometimes not it's, it's not about winning, is it? No, it's not the finish line. It's the getting ready and it's all, all the preparation. Oh, mm -hmm. and the journey. Exactly. Oh, that's so nice, Kerry. What a cool story. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, can you tell me a little bit about how you first got involved with Camp Quality? Yep. I first got involved with Camp Quality when I was asked to go into I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, which is Channel 10's jungle celebrity thing. And when yeah. they asked me, I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> I, thought, I did want to go to South Africa and see all the animals. I just didn't want to eat worms and rats. and Oh, gross. Things. Oh, really gross. But I've had a son who, when he was 11, we discovered he had a brain tumour and he had an operation and it, um, it's still with him, the brain tumour. So he's still on medications and things. At the moment, um, he's very safe and they're, you know, he's now, this is over because he's 24 now mm -hmm. and he's doing really well and he's a film director. Wow. But I realised that I could do that celebrity get me out of here and Camp Quality would be my chosen charity. And I looked them up and I knew that Camp Quality gives back in the top third. They are one of the three top ones in the whole of Australia that give all of the money back to the kids and camps and families. And um, I thought that was wonderful. And I loved that. I love laughing because I've got three boys and they always <laughs> make me laugh. And um, so I thought, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So that's how I got involved. Oh, that's amazing. And so you were on I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here for Camp Quality, right? Yeah. What was the craziest, most difficult thing that you had to do while you were on there? Well, one, on the very first day, I had to jump out of a helicopter. What? That was pretty in skydive. And when you dive out of a helicopter, it was like, no. Nah. And I knew my boys were watching, so I was like, smiling and and I was like and my boys were like mom you were dope everyone said you were so brave and I was like that's because I was pretending but when we got into the cloud you won't believe what happened Mel what it got cold and you couldn't see anything and I'm like and the guy who was jumping with me he said uh oh oh and I'm not sure that you want to hear uh oh when you parachute when you when you plummet and your parachute hasn't opened yet and he said just hold on, this isn't great. And I'm like, and then it was, and the cloud was freezing cold. Oh. And we just kept plummeting is the word I'm looking for. That's and so scary. Minute, I saw the ground, I saw the cross, and then felt this boom, and the parachute went up. And that Whew. was very scary. Whoa, that's terrifying. Was. Oh, but was it fun once the parachute went up? Yeah, it was great. I loved it. It was cool. really good. Wait, did you have to eat worms or anything? No, they wouldn't let me. They told <laughs> me that the, the, the viewers kept writing in saying, don't let Carrie Armstrong eat anything yucky or get hurt. Oh, so, that's really nice. I think it was my mum writing <laughs> in the 10. I'm pretty sure. That sounds like what my mum would do. <laughs> yeah. She's always telling me to stop eating my boogers. Oh, lovely. <laughs> you could hide them in your pigtails. Oh, no, that's how they stay out like this. Oh, it, they're okay. actually just full of boogers. Oh, that is brilliant work. Yeah, it's like I've... um, it's all natural hair gel. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. you've decided, as well as being on "I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here" for Camp Quality, you've decided to be an ambassador for the Big Walk for Little Kids, right? I have, I have, I have, and I'm so excited at how many people are walking and how much money we're raising. 
It is unbelievable. It's so good for you. Around here, we can walk along the beach. And oh. I actually, we saw dolphins the other day. Oh, wow. We walk, I know. On the first day of the walk, we walked up a track and it was so muddy. It oh. was fantastic. We just kept sinking. So it's always <laughs> different, the terrain around here. Yeah. That part's been, and you can walk with a friend. I, yesterday, I walked with dogs. The day before, I walked with a girlfriend. And then I walked with a family friend. So yeah, it's been great. Oh, that's so nice. And do you have any words of encouragement for the people who are currently right in the middle of doing their walk? <laughs> I would just say, keep knowing who you're doing it for. Because that's what I think in the middle of the walk, you say, you, you just, you're doing it for one of these beautiful families, or a gorgeous child who's fighting with all their strength and all their hope and all their faith to actually get well on the other side. And um, so I would say, yeah, hold, hold the picture of all these kids and their families in your mind and you'll, you'll find the steps get easier and easier, I promise. Oh, that's beautiful, Kerry. Thank you so much for being an ambassador for us. Pleasure. It's one of the, yeah, I'm very, very proud of Camp Quality. I'm very proud to be one of the many ambassadors. And can I just give now a shout out to the volunteers who I think are the most amazing of all. Oh, they me are too. Incredible. They show up, they get everything ready on the camps that I've been. The volunteers are just there working all the time looking after the kids. And that that's something that's um yeah, unbelievably brilliant. They're the best. Wow. We love our volunteers. Yeah, they're incredible. All right, so now we've gotten through all of the important and kind of boring questions. I thought that we could finish up with some fun stuff. What do you think? Cool, go for it. All right, so these are some, um, there's some silly questions that uh, us puppets always like to ask weird stuff. So, go. Ahem. Are you ready? Okay, so yeah. first, if you could eat only one type of food for the rest of your life, what food would it be? Chocolate. Chocolate? Oh, yum. I didn't even think of chocolate. What? Well, I was going to say avocados or bananas, but then I, it's got to be chocolate, doesn't it's it? It's got to be chocolate. Well, there's so many different kinds. And they're good for you now, they've found out. Lovely. Oh, really? Oh, well, that's good to know. Dark chocolate. Oh, that's okay. I like dark chocolate. I like Toblerone and snack. Oh, yum. Mm, I like Snickers. <gasps> I like Snickers too. Yum. All right, next one. Um, would you rather wear shoes, only be able to wear shoes that are too big or too small? Too big. Too big, yeah. Um, I hate shoes that are too small and too big, it'd be nice, you'd feel like a clown. I like that. <laughs> I, um, I probably wouldn't wear any because I don't have any feet. Oh, that's sad. You'll grow <laughs> some soon. Don't oh, you it's worry. okay. Puppets don't need feet. No. Nah. <laughs> they just need booger feet. Yeah, oh, booger feet? Oh, mm, that's a good idea. Mm. I wonder if they'd be very sturdy, though. They'd be a little squishy. You could stick. That would be hard. Oh, maybe you could climb walls with them, though. Oh, my God, you could. Wow. That's a, such a good idea. Oh, you're a genius, Kerry. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look into booger shoes. Okay, great. <laughs> um, next question. What unusual animal do you wish you had as a pet? A giraffe. Whoa, a giraffe? Would you yeah. ride it around? No, because I've got, sometimes there are cobwebs in the roof. It's a really old <laughs> cottage. And I looked and I thought, they've got those really long tongues. So I'd pat him and feed him and then go, is that a, is that a leaf in that corner? And he'd go, what? like that and he'd, get, <laughs> he'd get any of the spiders or cobwebs oh that's a brilliant idea um what what would you call your giraffe i call him jifa jifa yeah jifa giraffe oh that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> okay um would you rather be have wings or be able to breathe underwater oh, i'd much rather have wings i love wings we've already got wings if you feel in your back oh. you know those little things that are stumps, you know, in your back. And they're like your shoulder blades. Oh. They call them shoulder blades. They're not, that's where wings. wings are. Oh, that's I different. feel them. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. where your wings are. And at night they come out and you can fly oh. around. Oh, is that why sometimes I fly in my dreams? Totally, totally. Cause that's where your wings get attached. Oh, that makes so much sense. I know. All right. You gobble them as much as you can and then you'll know you go like this every now and then. That's another thing. I cheer myself up. I go, 
oh, oh, my angel wings. Oh, that's better. Oh, Yay. oh that does feel good. All right, See? last question. You ready? <clears throat> if you were a type of cooked potato, yeah. what kind of potato would you be? I would be a jacket potato because I get to put sour cream, melted oh. cheese, spinach, um, carrots, anything, avocado, bacon chips if you're not vegetarian, oh, anything. Yum. I would be a jacket potato for sure. Oh, that's a great answer. And you're very wholesome. Yes, very wholesome. <laughs> and I fattening. love that. Oh, yum. <laughs> got to make sure you've got a, bit of, got a bit of flesh on you. I agree. I agree. I'm, I'm very stuffed because I'm, I'm made of foam. That's like a jack of potato. You're already almost halfway to being a jack of potato, Mel. Oh, oh that's a great, yeah, true I am. Hmm. Delicious. Well, thank you so much for having a chat with me today, Kerry. It was so good to see you. I loved it. It's so good to see you. And can I just say to everybody at Camp Quality, everybody who's working there, the volunteers, all you beautiful puppets and the kids, especially all the families and all the children, stay in the most safe place you can, which is in your heart, and make sure that you have faith because there, there's always, always, always love around you and people will always look after you. Look, look after yourselves, we'll look after you too. So you've got a family. We're very oh. lucky. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Kerry. I hope we get to talk together again soon. You too. Thanks. All right. Now you're gorgeous thing. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.